welcome to today's vlog for Saturday, the 9th of October. Let's get started. Yeah, in the hotel, so I'm going to have a shower, get ready for the day. And then I think we're going for breakfast, so very excited. So yeah, catch up with you once I'm ready to go. Had a shower, well, all the rest of the ready for the day. As you can see in that mirror behind me, yeah. So dressed and ready for the day. And we're about to go for breakfast, so I shall catch up with you. Probably film breakfast, probably do another overlay of voiceover because it'll probably be too noisy like yesterday's vlog. Yeah, and if you haven't gone and checked that out, go and check that out. It will be yesterday's vlog for the 8th on my channel. Right, I shall catch up with you at breakfast then. Pancakes for breakfast, then went to Kensington Park. There it is. Look at that view next to the Dying Memorial. Ferrari! We then had a drink and an afternoon snack of chips before going for our boat ride. There was loads of music and talking, so I decided to do a voice overlay. There's Big Ben, Houses of Parliament uh, as we go along. Then we turn around and we uh, turn around underneath just next to the Houses of Parliament, go back past the London Eye where you get on at, past the Tate Modern, and another view back from HMS Belfast. There's lots of interesting facts about HMS Belfast. I have slept on there as a cub a long, long time ago. Um, yeah, it was really interesting, really cool. Definitely something to worth going and viewing if you ever haven't been to London or haven't ever done it. It's a huge boat and uh, it was part of the World War II war effort. So it's really cool. Then I think we're going to move on to a bit further down. I think, yes, we, we've made it to Greenwich now. So in the far distance, you can see the pool that dropped. Um, that is all about... Uh, the clocks and everything and how the clock works in Greenwich Mean Time. Now I've got a bit of like slow mo, I think we need to take slow mo video. I'm not really sure where this is or what it is, but it's a lovely, lovely view of the Thames from the boat. This was a, a speedboat, so once you get past uh, the uh, Tower, of, uh, Tower of London, Tower Bridge, you're allowed to go flat out, but before then you're limited to a speed limit. Now we're at the Thames Barrier, which is the far end of the route. We head back to the London Eye. So there's there's bits of the Thames Valley going through it. See part of it up. Very cool. And yeah, you can see which bits are green and which bits you can go through. You can get a cruise boat through there, which is really cool. Really surprising. And they only expect to use it twice a year, but now they use it a lot more. There's a shard on the way back. And now back at, at the Tower Bridge. Don't forget the shard does the sun setting because it was about five o'clock in the evening then. As the sun was setting in the day, which was what we time for, so we come back as the sun was setting. So that was really cool. Now we're on the, we're still going before it. And now looking at where we had the mirror the night before at the Gherkin. If you haven't checked that vlog out, go and check out yesterday's vlog. Um, now going underneath Tower Bridge. We're looking at Tower Bridge from the other side. Looking at the Tower of London. And walkie talkie in the nose, back at the shard, walkie talkie, gherkin, the other buildings, don't really know what the other one's called, Great Cheese Grater. Um, now we seem to, to have made some more slow mo of, of these big new business uh, developments basically. There's another one going in line with the walkie talkie, and the cheese grater is a very small building, but really cool. So, yeah, that's about that. Um, we see the shard. Um, the building in front, I can't remember what the building in front was. Let's see what roughly we look at. I can't actually read what that says. London Bridge Hospital, yeah. Uh, then we go past the train station that, that has the platforms out over the river. Um, past uh, St Paul's Cathedral, the Oxo Tower. Past fake Buckingham Palace, which they use for TV shows. Uh, then we're on the bridge afterwards looking at the London Eye. Here's my uh, Greek that I had for tea, a wrap, and then a thing. Now we're in uh, the Covent Garden. Look around Covent Garden. Look at that 
tiger. How cool is that? Walking through Piccadilly Circus on one of those bits and all the red lights up just before we got on our bus. Yeah, we just went on the bus stop now on the bus going back through. Seen all the lights displays, all the advertising and everything. Very nice, lots of music, lots of other stuff going on. And now I hand it back over to myself in real life at the time. Now back to the hotel. Great life. You get back to the room, there's a bloody flipping leak from the ceiling. Fucking great, we're probably gonna have to move we're gonna have, gonna have to move rooms now. Frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. But what a day. I really enjoyed my day, so let's see what happens now then. New room. But complete different part of the hotel. We have a new view although you can see this big reflection. Just below. Right, so as you walk into the bathroom, there's the the sink, the shower. And the bar and the completely different layout. No bath in this one, so 